Do I get to see Nekoma in another match? Because this one's called Cats vs. Monkeys. I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4, Episode 17. Last episode, we had the amazing, 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 amazing Tanaka episode. That was just Tanaka's my dude. He's been the senpai since like Episode 3. That's my brother. So I'm just so glad he's able to get out of the little funk that he had and he just shows everyone how amazing he is because he is one of the backbones of this team, no doubt. So with that being said, I'm super excited to hop into this episode. No idea what's going to happen. We got to continue with Nationals, all that. I mean, that was technically, if I remember correctly, only the first set we won against um, them, right? Osamu and uh, and Atsumu. Uh, I forgot their school's name. I don't know how I'm forgetting right now. But like I said, I'm just excited to see where this goes. So without any further ado, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's jump right on into it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Q, this is Q, Jujutsu Kaisen, many, many more to come in the future, check out that Patreon. Links are always down in the description for you guys. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Don't forget, we do have a P.O. box now. If you guys ever want to send me any art, fan letters, anything, anything and everything is much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this. Haikyuu Season 4, Episode 17, Cats vs. Monkeys. Okay, Court A, current match. Karasuno, Inarizaki, that's the Mia twins. Court B, Sentoku, Isoika, Yamato, Yamato Girls, Nekoma, and then Sarukawa Tech. That's the monkeys, Sarukawa, okay. No, I, hmm, interesting. The guy from No Heavy. Of course, he comes over to see Nekoma after they beat him. My boy Kenma, I missed him. My boy Kuro, I missed him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ken was just trying to get to the vetting machine. Damn, feel bad for my boy Kenma. Right? Oh, that was a great game. True. Kuro getting on him. I like it. Yeah, he just keeps doing it. He's in a cycle, he's in his pattern. You know, that is some deep thinking. <laughs> I like that reference. You don't, you don't ever really like the grind or like the work, but you like the feeling of leveling up. <laughs> I like the reference to video games, and I like the way you said that. Yeah, it's true. I love his relationship with Hinata. <laughs> I love the gray stamina S technique and power C and D. I love that. That's so funny. Ezumi grade school. Oh, look at them in grade school. Re we're reading some Shonen Jump. Hell yeah. That's the life right there. Playing games, reading Shonen Jump. Good old days, man. What do you mean? I still do that. Yeah, they're a little frustrated after their loss. I don't blame them. Let's go level up. Go outside, do something. That would be me. Yaku and Kuro always go at it. His name is Kai, right? I always, because he's always the most relaxing, just laid back, like, what's up, guys? Like, he's, he never gets in the fight, so I, I never remember his name. Kai, right? Right back to rework. Ooh, that was a good dink. And what do you know? Who comes in clutch as I say that? Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, really? That must be a little weird going against your old student as a coach. That's a good, solid point. That would make sense. We know that definitely does happen here. Happened to us, what, last episode or the episode before that? Oh, wow. That would make sense going against Kenma. But he'll break physically. Okay. I mean, they literally is called their brain because they literally push the. Oh, that's actually really smart. I like that. Yep. So he's on the first year while, while Kuro, all the rest of them are second, you know? That's so cool, man. I wouldn't do anything to be able to see real life like that. I swear to God. Ooh, like it's fucking Mario Kart. What power did you get? <sighs> Bro, I love this kid so much. I'm telling you. Oh, gotta be secret treasure chest up on that roof for sure. Yamamoto does zoom in past before he got that blonde. Yamamoto is physically a unit. That man's over here. Straight lifting the weight, straight running the track. Okay. That's why I relate to Kenma so much. I'm such an introvert. I know people, or I knew people in school, who was like Yamamoto. Just fucking physical units. Literally would never stop working out, never stop. Those guys were fucking brolic. Hell yeah. Some nice words from some higher ups, some seniors during your first practice match. Yeah, and to top it all off, the guy who you feel like has not been doing a lot of work is doing better than... Oh, he even hit Kuro during a spike? That'd be super embarrassing. I think Kenma does feel bad. Actual advice. Now that is actual facts. That's the tough love that he needed to hear. Ooh. <laughs> you see Kenma's face switch up so much. This is a good little back and forth, though. <laughs> Yaku's not wrong. <laughs> Bro, with the corny jokes, he stays making corny jokes. But. If I'm fighting and someone dumps some cold ass water on me, I'm definitely not fighting. Yeah, no, that's. I physically made a face when I saw Kenma start yelling. You know, he never gets 
loud like that. Now that some time has passed, Yamamoto has a dyed hair. Just waiting on Kenma to get the dyed hair. He's so good with the dumps, I swear. Was Kenma not one of the first ones we saw do a dump in the show? I swear he was. It's not guts or anything, he just hears he hates losing. I mean, that's, that's all you need right there. Some good motivation. They just started getting better. Nasty, they're, just, they're so good. Hmm. <laughs> that's something that uh you see a lot i don't i don't know i'm trying to think of a specific example but i really can't I, I do like how they did that they might not necessarily always agree they might not respect each other's work ethic or or minute detail semantics when it comes like that but they can definitely respect each other's actual gravitas when it comes to the game they can actually respect their skill like he might he's like he's still gutless and everything it's not motivation or gut that's but uh, damn would i not want to go against him like he can re, you know real recognize real it's pretty much the sorry i just hit my desk the tldr of what i was trying to say real recognize and they both have done that with each other <laughs> Ukunaga already has the water. Oh, wow. And he's, you know, it just shows you how their relationship has changed over the time, you know? I love that cut. So they gave up the first set, but they're doing better in the second set. They're all just wanting to crush Kenma. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's actually a really good strategy, though. Holy shit. All right, I didn't write anything down, which because that just happens during some episodes. I just get so sucked into the episode. But man, that was a great episode. I loved the focus on Nekoma. I love them as a squad there. I love all of their individual players. I, I got to say, I, Fukunaga got a couple of cool points for me this episode for his corny dad jokes and always having the bucket ready <laughs> for when they fight. But I was super surprised about the emphasis on Yamamoto and Kenma. Usually when we, you know, look at Nekoma, Kenma's a big part, but it's usually Kuro. Last time it was uh, Yaku, Kai, it was all of them, you know, the, the, the third years. But now it's just, it was, it's very interesting seeing their relationship develop. You know, it's, that's one thing that's very realistic about this show is that you see co a lot of characters who aren't necessarily on the same page or on the same side, but have to work together for the greater good of the team. Like quick examples, obviously Kageyama, Hinata. Uh, Kentaro and Yahaba from Alba Josai had to work together immaculately, especially Kentaro. And now Kenma, uh, Yamamoto, you know, it's just like, that's one thing about being on a team is like, they, I know it sounds so overplayed, but there really is no I in team. Like you really are going to have to fit perfectly, especially when it comes to Nekoma, how they're a body. Kenma's the brain, you know, you really have to use every one of your limbs, no pun intended as a as as best as you can and i but with that being said i really like the strategy from the other team especially them knowing nekoma especially one of their their coach being an old nekomata student you know they would know that the setter is going to be the hive mind of all this so if we can make him work extra hard because he hasn't been able to because they've been just babying him as they said you know the whole time it'll make you know and it's so far it's working so smart i like it i like the play i like how they're executing it i love the flashback I love the very estranged relationship between them, between Yamamoto and Kenma. Kuro's always been there. He's he's always a legend in the background. I fucking love that dude. But I don't know, man. I'm excited for this next episode. I think I'm going to hop into it. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm excited for this next one. I'm about to go. Uh, peace out, you guys. Have a great day.